to the very first episode of Toys in the Attic, and I'm your host, Mick. This channel is going to be showcasing toys that we've collected over the last 40 years. Right now, I'm collecting the Black Series. That's something that I've just gotten into over the last four months while we've all been locked in our homes. I've been out, you know, collecting the Black Series for fun to give me something to do. This channel will focus on that later on, but for right now, we have about 15 boxes. Here we go. Box number one. Now remember, we haven't seen the contents of these boxes in 20 years, so I don't know what's in them. Uh, so we're just going randomly, box number one. So here we go. Anything could be in these things. Maybe not even Star Wars. It's just Star Wars on the box, though, so. All right, first up. Wow. <coughs> this looks like a pretty good box. We have a Star Wars Episode One Phantom Menace Trade Federation Droid Fighter. I remember this being a really crappy toy. But I collected it anyway. And I think we put it together and it was, uh, I was never thought it was There we go. Now we're talking. I like anything related to uh, The Empire Strikes Back, especially scenes from Hoth. And this happens to be a deluxe Hoth level soldier with the ion cannon gun. That's a pretty cool toy. Back in the day when we collected these, we were uh, mint inbox collectors. As you can see, I've changed from that. Uh, I want to enjoy the things that I collect instead of them being imprisoned in plastic. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with these things. In the future, I can't see me open up hundreds and hundreds of uh, three and a quarter inch scale figures, but uh, I do like stuff on the card as well. Here's an R2-D2, and this looks like it's from A New Hope on Tatooine. So that's pretty cool. It's a rock scene, R2, and uh, I'm sure that there was other parts that went to this, made a diorama of some sort. Well, this is uh, not a loaded box, but it's got some good stuff in it. There we go. Star Wars Episode One: Anakin Skywalker's Pod Racer. Now this was a cool toy. We actually took this one out of the box and hung it up on the ceiling with the Sabuba pod racer kind of chasing each other. So this was a cool toy I remember liking. And that was probably one of my favorite scenes from this movie where the pod racer and all And uh, last but not least, uh, this toy I missed during the first run of the Kenner's Bruh. Empire Strikes run back in the 80s, but I managed to find this on Power of the Force. This is from Bruh. Shadows of the Empire, and this is really cool. This has never been opened. I believe it's Bruh. from 1995, and this is Boba Fett's Slave One. If I don't sell this, this may, uh, this may get opened and put on display. And, uh, so for box number one, um, those are some nice treasures in there, and uh, we're going to get some fun out of these. And that completes box number one. So I want to thank you all for joining us today, and come check us out again, because we're going to be doing this often. I have 15 boxes, and I have a lot of Black Series to go through, and I have a lot of stuff pre-ordered, so stuff's going to be coming every day for months. So it's an exciting time to be a collector. There's a lot of stuff out there. You guys know if you're collecting that Black Series, there's a lot of good stuff coming on our way. So uh, I look forward to that. See you next time on Toys in the Attic. What a piece of junk. Yes, I bet you have. I'm new.
Bruh.